What makes Italian cuisine so special is that most of the dishes have a backstory that reflect a lot upon the Italian culture. For instance, what we're cooking next is spaghetti carbonara that gets its name from the fact that charcoal workers used to make this initially on their charcoal fires. We don't have charcoal fires right now, but we're going to try and make it as authentically as yes, possible, really. right? So, how do we begin making this? Here we're going to make the spaghetti carbonara. Traditional. Traditional spaghetti okay. carbonara. And for the making spaghetti, I have already blanched the spaghetti. Right. But the same method, you have to blanch in the boiling salted water for 10 minutes, then you can cool it down and then you can use it. Right. Again, we're going to start with the olive oil, the pure olive oil. Right. And first I'm going to prepare the carbonara sauce. Okay. Again, we've used about a tablespoon and tablespoon a little more. Okay. For this, we need garlic and decent amount of garlic. So define decent. That's about two heaped teaspoons of garlic. Yes. Okay. Because the flavor in the pasta, because of garlic and the bacon. Right. If you are not a folk lover, you can use chicken as a supplement, but that's not authentic carbonara Absolutely. sauce. But you can use it. Okay. And now turkey ham is also very common, so right. you can use that as well. But bacon is actually what traditionally goes into making carbonara, yes. so because it makes pork sense. is very very popular in Italian cuisine. You have parma ham, San Daniel, copa. So we need to just saute the garlic. Yes. The most important, the garlic, we should, when you saute, it will develop the flavor. Right. If we are not going to cook it, the garlic, it will have a raw taste, which will not make your pasta that good in flavor and everything, the way it's supposed to be. Right. So you need to have some patience when you are making the garlic, sorting the garlic. Now we need to add the bacon in it. I already cut the bacon in small dices. Right. And again, now the trick comes. How you how we wanna make the carbonara sauce? Right. While we are sorting it, because after putting olive oil, then the garlic, now the bacon as well. Bacon has got a fat. Right. So it will not get burnt so far. Correct. So we can leave it for like. Say two minutes okay. on a very slow fire. So chef, what do we do while this is happening? Yes, now we need to prepare the lezo. Okay. There's uh, egg yolk and cream. Okay. Uh, if you want, I can help. Yes, I please. need to be an assistant. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to use the three egg yolks. Three egg yolks. Yes. Most of the nutrition and the fat of the egg is in the egg, egg yolk, yolk, right? That's true. So lezo is made by adding egg yolks. And the cream. And uh, we're using double cream or single cream? We use single cream. That's how much egg yolks to how much cream? For three egg yolks, you can use 200 ml of cream. Okay. Three yes. egg yolks, 200 ml. Well, Do I need cream. to stir it up? Yeah, please. Now it's almost done. Okay. You can keep it back and give me some pasta, please. Pasta. That pasta I, as I have already blasted. Right. It's not that hot, so we're going to just reheat. put in the hot water. Okay. And reheat. Right. Just let it be for 30, 30 seconds. Okay. And then put the pasta. bacon looks crisp. Yes. You have 30 seconds enough. The water was already hot. Right. It'll take just 30 seconds. So we add some little water as well. Okay. Because the oil was there. Right. If we're gonna put like this only the spaghetti, it will stick in the bottom. Right, absolutely. And now we can do the seasoning. Seasoning can be done in the last moment as well. But I do it now. So salt to taste. Salt. And the pepper. Right. And then I put some water so I got some time. Otherwise, this starts sticking to the bottom. The fresh pepper also adds, adds the taste of the pasta. Absolutely. Fresh pepper, I think, just enlightens any kind yes, of food. Yes, true. It's very nutritious, very healthy as well. Right. Now the lezo is there. Right. So, can you just give it to me? You have to heat up our pasta. Right. One more trade secret in this one. Once you're gonna put this one, we are not gonna cook it for a long time. Actually, uh, the cream was split. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so here's yeah. the secret. Stir yeah. it quickly. You don't yes. want the cream splitting. Oh, this yes. is what gives it that rich thickness yes. to spaghetti carbonara. And with the now we're gonna finish with our pico dono cheese. If you don't have pecorino, you can use the parmesan as well. Okay. And be generous when you uh, when you are using the cheese. Absolutely. I mean, when you've got cream and, and egg yolks and bacon yes. in your spaghetti, and why should you be frugal with the cheese? Yes. So here. So now your carbonara is done. 
and then last you can add the parsley chopped parsley there you go wow this looks dreamy creamy yes it is my bowl is forever ready oh it's great <laughs> and here is my pasta wow So here you are.